Scary, isn't it? Understand it. Anything? No? Well, believe it or not, this is what today's world runs on. This is what artificial intelligence runs on. The binary code. Everything that the civilization has achieved today is a product of intelligence. Imagine amplifying our intelligence with artificial intelligence. It could change the world. It could make the civilization flourish like never before, provided the technology remains beneficial. Good morning to one and all present here. I am Renan Simon of Class 11 C Sarasadi Vidyaniketan Public School. School. I am here to talk on the topic artificial intelligence (AI). If you are living in today's world, the 21st century, then technology is advancing leaps and bounds every single moment because of the advancement of human intelligence in tandem with artificial intelligence. Slowly but steadily, AI is becoming a necessity. AI is no longer a dream. It is present everywhere, from Siri, Google Assistant, Bixby, Cortana, Alexa, to Honda Asimo, one of the most creative and powerful humanoids ever created. AI marks the beginning of superintelligence, intellect that is defined as much more powerful than human intelligence in possibly every manner, from scientific knowledge to general wisdom to even social skills. Well, AI is under a lot of conspiracy today. AI is a dual-sided topic. Some say AI is the biggest creation of mankind, some say it will be the biggest mistake of mankind. Well, AI has both its pros and its cons. The pros being, it has a very low error rate. It can work with speed, accuracy, precision. Name it and it's done. It can maintain organized records in perfection. AI is not affected by hostile environments or the duration of work. It can work in space, it can dig, it can mine, it can work in places where humans actually can't. Well, we are on a revolution because of AI. We are on the cusp of a revolution of our workplace led by the adoption and advancement of artificial intelligence, making all our jobs easier. Just like how computers change the way we work, AI will become ubiquitous. AI has become an indispensable assistant in practically every profession today. I'll take the example of AI in medicine and healthcare. Not only does it perform a surgery with utmost precision, but also it maintains records of surgeries, health and diagnosis. Recent developments in AI have made it possible to detect heart attacks, to cure cancer. AI thinks without emotions, thus increasing the accuracy of a rational decision. We all know our country is not a very good place for women and children because of the high, because of the high amount of social evils, human trafficking, and sexual violence. The governments can keep track of sites, suspicious activities, run a variety of queries. AI helps in automating the process. AI helps in surveillance. AI helps in defense. AI increases the need for high-skilled labor. Well, that increases a country's economy and that gives us more forex. But not all is good, is it? Many top personalities are worried about the impact of AI on us humans. They think that we will be to robots what dogs are to humans. Are they exaggerating? Well, let's look into it. When I said AI will increase employment, I was talking about high-skilled labor. When it comes to low-skilled labor, it eliminates them, let alone helping them. You know what that does? It makes the rich richer and the poor poorer. AI bias. A machine that works on AI is limited, limited to a few algorithms. That is, it cannot think out of the box. It lacks creativity in that case. With the coming of AI, our basic privacy has started being questioned. A guy can easily access all our information. He knows what we eat, what we drink, where we go, what we do, literally everything. Because AI is omnipotent, it is present everywhere. AI has made hacking a lot easier. Big governments, the UN, the FBI, the CIA, they're all 
all will be destroyed in the blink of an eye. If AI is used for terrorism, that is, if AI is under the control of terrorism, then surprise, surprise, it's World War III. And this time, it'll be more devastating than World War I and II combined, and there will be no coming back. Success in creating AI will be one of the biggest events in humankind history. But there is a chance that it might be the last, unless and until we start taking control of the risk. AI is not good, it is not bad on its own. It is merely a tool. And like all other tools today, the impact of AI on us humans depends on our actions. It is us that gets to define if AI is a bane or a good. It is us that gets to define that the world is ruled by carbon or silicon. Carbon and silicon might be in the same group of the periodic table. They might share a few chemical properties. But in the real world, that doesn't matter. Because we all know if silicon takes over, it's basically finger through the throat. So it's our duty as future generation to make sure that this doesn't happen. To make sure that the binary code, yeah, the scary language I said in the beginning, it doesn't become common man's language. It is our duty to make sure that in the end of the day, AI only benefits us. That in the end of the day, AI has brought us only good. At the end of the day, everything is good. Thank you.